perception. I think at this point, uh, if you look at the risk engineering field, it's, it's uh, being pursued in many different ways. Uh, there are people uh, studying individual neurons that are in a petri dish and alive, and they're studying exactly what it does and how it interacts. And there are models and simulations at many different levels of, of detail. In my view, the, we should pursue all of these because they're all providing hints. Uh, and the objective is, to understand, is not necessarily to build a grand simulation where we simulate an entire brain at a certain level of, this, of detail. That may be useful at some point as a, uh, as a scientific uh, project, but the real objective is to understand the principles of operation. And I actually don't think they'll be that complicated to explain. As I said, there's only 25 million bytes, which is maybe half a million lines of code equivalent in the design of the human brain. I think a lot of, even a lot of that has to do with just supporting the of biological functions for life support of, of these different neurons and physical, their physical layout and so on. Uh, I don't say the brain is simple, but I think it's a level of complexity we can understand. And I think ultimately we will come to an understanding along the following lines. So in the cerebral cortex, we have these modules. Uh, this is how what the module does. We can then uh, program that module to do that function without completely disregarding neurons and ion channels and uh, just perform the pattern recognition uh, list processing uh, capability of, of that module and, and use our best programming and probably do a better job than evolution did. Uh, and then they're wired together in a certain way. Uh, and that we're still learning about, but there's certain principles of operation about how that works we'll find actually there are some practical limitations because there was no wireless communication other than maybe there is some uh, field effects and EMF uh, phenomena going on, but basically there are discrete connections uh, and there's some topological requirements for that and, and real limitations. In a computer, you can create virtual connections and have much more flexibility, but you don't want too much flexibility because uh, unless you understand the principles of operation, it won't work.